Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan from the TCO studios. Pete Bursage, former Vikings linebacker, current analyst for the Vikings Radio Network with yours truly, Paul Allen. Let's watch some Miami Dolphins film. For the Miami Dolphins, we're going to take a good look at their defense and what they do well and what they don't do well. Yeah. Two guys highlighted here, Cameron Wake and Robert Quinn. Very, very good pass rushing defensive ends. Yes, sir. Kind of a similar situation that we saw against Buffalo earlier this year. These two guys can change games. The problem that they have are these guys underneath. And we're going to take a really good look at what the defensive ends and how they play and how they do well, mm -hmm. and then the problems that they're having underneath. You take a look, and this is something with Green Bay. I just don't understand how you can have a guy like Cameron Wake out here and then want to block him with a pass-catching tight end. Is he a wide nine? Exactly. You're sliding your line this way. You have a tight end one-on-one -on -one to the backside of the quarterback with one of the better pass rushers in the league, this is what's going to happen. I mean, Balaga turns around, but he can't, he can't get there because he's sliding the other way. Oh. And then the quarterback, though, the quarterback has to know before the snap that he has this problem out here, and he has about a three-second count to get rid of the football. Yeah. And if something's not there, then he's got to do something else with it. Now, Bakhtiari has his hands full on the other side, as you can see, up and then underneath – one guy up top, one guy down low, and they get Rodgers. And Rodgers doesn't like it and spikes the ball. He doesn't like his coach. He doesn't like anything right now. But a lot of it's his own fault because they just don't anticipate things very well. Another look that you're getting this time of year, you're getting three linemen on one side. So you, they want to turn everything this way. They want the offense to turn everything. Mm -hmm. And then you leave one of your athletes one-on-one -on -one in space against, let's face it, a non-athlete left tackle for the Buffalo Bills. I mean, this is just... Robert Quinn beating him up the field, getting to the back, and watch him turn this corner. This is what you want to see at the combine. This is what you want to see out of these guys in college, their ability to get to that point, turn the corner, and then he gets to the quarterback and does the smart thing. He well, knows the lineman has too much of him, yeah. so he just goes after the football. So then you get the sack, yeah. the force fumble, and if you can get one of your guys on, you get him, get him for the recovery. Look as at well. your guy go. <laughs> hey, that's the offensive lineman's dream is letting somebody else turn a D lineman yeah. free so I could pick up the fumble and run with it. But the same kind of look, double wide three technique, no one's mugging the A gaps. You have to be sound technically as an offensive lineman. You have to gain ground with that first step. You'll see this lineman step under himself, and he's already beat. Cameron Wake already has him right here. His shoulders are turned perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. He has no power, and this is a thing of beauty for Cameron Wake to get that shoulder in there, rip club, That's get nice. around, and then not worry about hitting the quarterback but trying to get the ball loose. Yeah. So one-on-one, -on -one, if you don't have your stuff together, Cameron Wake's going to make you pay. Another example, attacking protections. Yeah, against... they're, they're flooding this side with three. Exactly. So they want everyone to turn away and leave their speed guys, one of the two, one-on-one -on -one in some space. When he gets to the tackle right there, that right hand is on this outside shoulder, and he turns that shoulder. See how that lineman turns, turns yep. his body? Now he's got him beat, and he just lays a hit on the quarterback. Boom. That's the kind of speed and everything you get off the edge. So it's not just the speed, but it's the speed and using the leverage, and Raiders will be Raiders. They like to push after the whistle. Right. Now, where is their problem? Their problem's internally. You take a look at this play. Yeah. And you have a defense. So you definitely don't want to be third and long against Wake and Quinn is e what you're saying. Exactly right. Yeah. But you take a look at this. You have a defensive end who's four yards outside of this tackle. This guy is really almost inside shade of the tackle. He's got to get the B gap. Both of these guys, both these donkeys get reached. <laughs> Not only that, you've got a guy looping away who gets crossed. And now you've got trouble. Uh -huh. The linebacker can't be right. The guard comes up on him. He doesn't – he just – tap dances, but look at the size Holy cow. of the cutback lane, too. This running back, I mean, he, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Gets outside, gets to the second level, and eventually they tackle him. So Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> so they're having problems internally. When I say internally, I'm talking about their interior defensive line and their linebackers with containing plays. Tackle reaches the end. You got Gronkowski coming in, blocking inside. Yep. Cordero Patterson. Now, this is, this is a wide – I don't care if it's quarter up. This is a wide receiver on a linebacker. The linebacker needs to win this every time. You can't just do this Whoa. and get yourself turned around and then hit again and then push five, six, seven yards down the field. Yeah. So that's just a lack of physicality that they have up in the middle. They have a lot of speed on the edges, but if you can get outside of them, then you can cause some damage. Robert Quinn, 
other things that they do, mistakes. This is a pass rushing stunt. He should be penetrating between these two and then having Quinn come underneath. But you'll see when you're not in the right spot, oh, these guys are. My guy forgot. They're running into each other, right? They're running. Yeah. They're just running. You have two guys running into each other, and now you're leaving one of the best athletes in the NFL one on one in space. This guy's running underneath. You got a linebacker running underneath. He's one on one in space. Gets gets skated out what of the, the play. What the heck is this? That's what I'm saying. You talk about teams that are going places, the Chicago Bears and teams that aren't, yeah. it shows up on film. So you don't block them. You know, you just leave a guy free. Again, we're seeing this more in the NFL. You turn a defensive end loose. He has no concept that this is even a possibility. He's collapsing and chasing, not even paying attention. <laughs> Gets beat on the outside. And you have an unblocked, hey, unblocked linebacker right yeah. here. All right? Don't worry about him. He'll make the play. Mm, no, he won't. He's going to get <laughs> run around like he's tied to a post. Oh, I mean, that's, he's getting beat like a running mule. I mean, I could go on and on, but I'm not. And then he goes down there and gets his helmet knocked off. <laughs> I mean, this, <laughs> this is just not a good situation for the Dolphins in the running game oh, at all. Man. Okay? Mm. Against the Texans. Texans, hey, the Texans are hot, right? Yeah. Again, this is just angles. Block out, fold around. This guy needs to stay outside. They block down. They pull, someone, they pull the guard around. This guy has to come over the top. They just don't have any, they have no discipline whatsoever. This linebacker is getting cut off on the backside with a pulling guard. That yeah. can't happen. That can't happen. He has to be the guy over the top, and then these guys aren't fitting right. You need to be in between. He needs to stay in here, and then you have this unblocked guy to come in and clean up and make the play. But they're not in the gaps that they're supposed to be. So a play that has no business of, of really gaining any yardage because they have plenty of guys to stop it. Wow. They're running into each other. This guy's getting just pushed out of the gap. <laughs> Safety runs up the back, and thank yeah. God he makes an ankle tackle. So, <laughs> you know, we've seen teams with defenses like this that have struggled a little bit, but when you have athletic def defensive ends, you have to account for them. The Buffalo Bills gave us a lot of problems with those two speedy defensive ends. Oh, yeah. You just need to take care of those two, Quinn and Wake, and I think we'll be in good shape. Well,